trade was placed good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking as you can see I had to place this trade very quickly because I really didn't want to miss this opportunity however I just wanted to welcome you in this video and wanted to show you that uh, today we are also going to use sorry we are also going to use the Fibonacci retracement strategy and those who have just joined the channel recently and for our new subscribers uh, let me show you where you can actually learn this strategy so just hold on for a second please so here is my channel and if you want to learn how to use the Fibonacci retracement strategy in your scalping you can go to my channel and scroll down until you find this Fibonacci in a day trading uh, Fibonacci easy way to, yeah Forex easy way to use Fibonacci and live trading Forex with Fibonacci I'm just wondering what happened to the other videos there was so many other videos more than that I don't know what happened why are they all are missing not really sure I think there is something wrong in YouTube I will check that later so anyway these are the videos where you can find and learn the strategy so as you can see right now I have drawn my Fibonacci retracement from this higher high to this lower high and as you can see uh, this level here is confirming that we are right now on Fibonacci 61.8 and of course as I'm telling you always we don't uh, blindly using the Fibonacci we need to also look at the left to confirm if there was a strong resistance or support at the left as you can see we are here at the highest top level of that resistance meaning we can uh, sculpt the market right here and expect, expect from it to reverse for almost 18 pips because as per the strategy rules I'm going to set my take profit to be at the nearest or the next retracement uh, since I had a uh, late entry seemingly we will have 11 pips profit from that trade and to be safe and since I know I'm receiving a lot of criticism for not using a stop loss I really don't want to use a stop loss but for your sake guys I'm gonna use it and let me just make it like that 15 pips I don't think it's gonna go higher than that and uh, to be frankly speaking I don't think uh, the pair is gonna reverse only to this level I think it's gonna go down all the way until it hit that support level that's why I placed my take profit to be with almost 18 pips hopefully gonna be in profit yeah 18 pips meaning 37 dollars I'm trying to reach uh, 1000 dollars for this account uh, in this session so let me just look at the other pairs by the way remember that I am right now on the one hour chart for the pound GPY um, Fibonacci can be used on all time frames but since you are scalping we can rely also on the 15 minute time frame so let me go to the pound in ZD right now and I'm trying to find any good setup nothing right here and right here nope this one already taken uh, let's check the pound CHF so let me draw a Fibonacci retracement from that level and as we can see the pair uh, I wanted to remind you something here guys because if I was if I was about to draw uh, the resistance manually I would have drawn it like that uh, this resistance right here and Fibonacci retracement is telling me no seller you need to wait more for the pair to go up more here and and hit Fibonacci 61.8 that's gonna provide me a much better entry therefore I'm gonna wait and I will delete this resistance line here exactly look at that check it out the candle is rising the price is rising more up and I think it's gonna go higher for almost five pips and hit our entry level and then I'm gonna place the trade actually let me just set a pending order so I will not miss this entry while looking for another setups so I will just continue searching for another setups I really hate using pending orders but because I'm on the live trading video right now I need to use it uh, what's happening right here let me delete all these lines wow so many for the pound USD pound USD sadly did not reach my cell uh, area let me go back 15 minute time frame for the pound USD and we can draw a Fibonacci retracement from this higher high to this, to this lower low and we can see that the pair also still did not reach the good entry point and still 8 pips away far from 
Fibonacci retracement 61.8 now of course we need to analyze the pair we need to look at the left to find if this the very same level was also a strong support or resistance in the past now by quick looking we can see that we had here a, a strong support level however we still need to find if this was also a strong resistance as well sorry about that look at that perfect guys check it out the Fibonacci retracement is coming almost at the highest level of that key resistance level right here and if I draw a, ma uh, a resistance line we can see that the pair has already reversed but however I trust Fibonacci retracement and I believe that the pair is gonna continue rising until hitting the Fibonacci retracement so in other words we have confirmed that this uh, level is strong as a resistance and we just need to wait more for uh, some time until the pair rise and hit our entry level I'm gonna set another pending order right here just to be sure that we are not missing this opportunity so right now we are having two pending orders for uh, pound CHF and pound UST let me now pause the video and I'll be back to you later to show you once I open these two trades so now all the trades have been opened and we can see uh, pound USD has entered the trigger area my pending order and I'm going to set the take profit to be at 18 pips right on the uh, next Fibonacci retracement and to be fair uh, we are having here 17 pips of profit and I'm gonna set the same thing exactly as loss which is gonna be as well 17 pips uh, checking the pound CHF uh, let me just uh, draw again the Fibonacci retracement and as we can see I have placed my trade on uh, 61.8 uh, let me just set my take profit here at 50 as well and the take profit is gonna be 14 pips so I'm gonna set the same I'll make it 15 pips for the stop loss and as we can see now the trades are going in good the, they are not going in profit but I think they are going in the right direction we can expect about $32 from the pound CHF and $38 from the pound USD uh, let me try to find some other setups where okay hold on uh, AUD USD looks very good let me just draw a Fibonacci retracement and now that is very important now what we can see here my friends as I I'm telling you always Fibonacci retracement we can never rely on it blindly just to open the trades now uh, Fibonacci retracement can actually tell you uh, if there was a breakout from a trend or a resistance now the secret behind using Fibonacci 61.8 is it is telling you right, uh, right now that the direction of the trend has been changed as you can see this trend was going in a bearish momentum however not anymore because the breakout from Fibonacci 61.8 meaning the breakout from the trend line as well so we had here a previous support level sorry a previous resistance like that and we also had here a trend line like that and since we can if we follow this my friends we can see that the pair has reversed on Fibonacci 50 and 23.6 and also made some reversal on 38.2 but however if or once it break out from 61.8 that means that the trend is no more in bearish momentum and right now it's gonna be bullish so most likely what will gonna happen right now is that the pair is gonna respect that resistance level right here gonna reverse fall down for a for a, um, a pullback and we can see that we are having here a strong support level on 61.8 as well therefore that support is gonna be respected as well so the pullback is gonna be finished and the, and the market is gonna continue rising all the way until it hit that resistance that's how you can analyze the market that's how you can tell if the, if the trend has changed or not I believe in the weekend I need to make another uh, video explaining more about Fibonacci strategy so right now we can see that all the trades are going in profit which is perfectly fine uh, um, okay let me see uh, let's check here the AUD CAD and as we can see right now we are on Fibonacci 61.8 and looking at the left we can have we can see that we are having that strong resistance I'm gonna place the sell order right away that's a very good entry and as I said to you guys we don't uh, open the trade blindly I need to look at the left just to confirm 
okay sorry about that my recorder just suddenly stopped uh where were we okay so i was telling you that we cannot open the threads blindly we need to look at the left just to confirm if there was a strong resistance right here at the left and as, as you can see that is exactly what i have uh, what i saw uh, i saw that we are having here that strong resistance level which was also a strong support as well now not only that looking at the bearish breakout candle this one right here let me just zoom in and show you let me just uh, show you this breakout candle right here so this candle right here is actually breaking out from that support level that is the support this is the support level and this candle is the candle which has broken out from that support level now as i'm telling you always where we can place our trade is always at the nearest wick or tail to the breakout candle so i can see that the candle has already touched that level and almost exceeded therefore i had to place the trade right away and therefore i had a perfect entry so i'm going to set my take profit level to be on fibonacci investment number 50 which is going to be 17 pips and i'm going to set my stop loss to be uh, at 22 pips 21 pips the reason is uh, i set my stop loss above that resistance level right here now we have to be logic we have to be uh, realistic about our trades now if let's say if let's assume that the candle is going to actually break out from that resistance or actually continue rising we we can expect the next reversal to happen exactly at that resistance level so this is exactly what i can expect the market to reverse and give me a profit right therefore i had to set my my take profit level uh, stop loss above the resistance level uh, let's check the other trades look at that and the pound chf hit the take profit level i'm gonna close it manually it already has reached the take profit level uh, let's check pound usd is appro approaching also the take profit level it's very close to the t take profit level i'm going to close it right now and regarding pound gpy it also uh, getting closer to our take profit level no i'm still gonna keep it running I believe it's gonna reverse more uh, my target has reached and the account is already above one thousand dollars we can see also the AUD CAD has reversed um, actually I want to close all the threads right now and end the video uh, I know it's short video but however I had my target and I have reached it in just less than 15 minutes of uh, trading session this was just a quickly uh, or a quick trading session i just wanted to share with you more ways of how we can use the fibonacci retracement in our daily scalping sessions and i think by the weekend i'm gonna make another video explaining for uh, the new subscribers and for everyone in brief how we can exactly uh, apply the fibonacci retracement and why is it uh, the must wh sorry why it is the strongest uh, strategy in scalping forex so until then i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching